Let's begin with a game that's played on squares. Chess? No, chess. Chess? A mathematical contest between two minds. It's a game that has been enjoyed for centuries by kings and commoners. In fact, Lewis Carroll, a famous mathematician with a literary mind, used chess as a setting for his classic tale, Through the Looking Glass. Alice found herself face to face with a none too friendly group of chess pieces. Good heavens, what's this? On my soul, it appears to be a lost pawn. Donald Duck. Preposterous. Or it could be an Alice. Alice! No, no, no. It's a lost pawn. Lost pawn? Stop that pawn. Ah, Mr. Spirit! Now you can look at this game from a safer perspective. Chess is a game of calculated strategy, and since the board is geometrical, the moves are mathematical. And the game is over. That's very interesting. What's next? Practically all games are played on geometrical areas. The baseball field is a diamond. Oh boy! And without mathematics, we couldn't even keep score. Football is played on a rectangle divided by yard lines. Basketball is a game of circles, spheres, and rectangles. Even hopscotch has its multiple squares. What's next? Can I do it? No. A mathematical game played on a field of two perfect squares, using three perfect spheres, and a lot of diamonds. In other words, billiards. Oh boy! That's for me! You know the game, don't you, Donald? Of course! The two ball has to get the other two balls, like this! <laughs> Now let's see how an expert at three cushion billiards uses his head. Three cushion? Yes. The cue ball not only has to hit both the other balls, but it must contact at least three cushions before it hits the final ball. an expert to make several shots in succession. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow! That was like a good shot! Luck? No, it's skill. For this game, you have to know all the angles.
Set seven. That's a bad thing. How does he do it? First, there's technique. He's striking the cue ball low, so it'll spin backwards. Hitting the ball on the right side will make it hug the rail. These trick shots take a lot of practice. <laughs> One, two, three. What's your best money to about that? Oh, this game takes precise calculation. He figures out each shot in his head. He could play it like this, but it calls for quite a bit of luck. There is a better choice. For this, he uses the diamond markings on the rail as a mathematical guide. First, he figures the natural angle for hitting the object balls. And then he finds that his cue ball must bounce off the number three diamond. Next, he gets ready for the shot, and he needs a number for his cue position. This calls for a different set of numbers. Very confusing, isn't it? Not when you get the hang of it. You see, the cue position is four. Now a simple subtraction. Three from four is one. So if he shoots for the first diamond, he should make it. It's called playing the diamond system. Natural angle, two. Cue position. One and a half, two, two and a half, three, three and a half. Two from three and a half is one and a half. So, shoot halfway between the first and second diamonds. No, no, Donald. There's no guesswork to mathematics. It's quite simple. Natural angle for the hit. Two. Q position. Three and a half. How much is three and a half minus two? Uh, one and a half. Tough for yourself, Donald. How do you like that for my spanish, Mr. Spirit? Wonderful, Donald. And now you're ready for the most exciting game of all. Oh, boy! And the playing field for this game is in the mind. Look at the condition of your mind. Antiquated ideas, bungling, false concepts, superstitions, confusion. To think straight, we'll have to clean house. There, that's more like it. A nice clean sweep. This game is played with circles and triangles. Think of a perfect circle. A perfect circle. Perfect circle. Perfect. Ah, put a triangle inside and turn it. Now spin the circle and what have you got? A ball. Yes, a sphere. The shape of things is first discovered in the mind. Slice off the top, and we have a... A magnifying glass. That's right. A lens is a section of a sphere. All optical instruments are created through mathematics. You see, there's a lot more to mathematics than just numbers and equations. Let's get back to our circle and triangle. Roll it, and we have...
have a... The circle has been the basis for many of man's important inventions. The mind can create the most amazing things. If we spin the triangle, we have a... Tongue. Slice the cone. <laughs> the cone is full of useful mathematical shapes. Slice it again. Slice it several times. The orbits of all planets and satellites can be found in the cone. No matter how you slice it, it's always mathematics. A slice like this gives us the reflector of a searchlight. A slice like this, the mirror of a giant telescope. A line on a cone, and we have a drill. And a spring. Now you're ticking. is the birthplace for all of man's scientific achievements. The mind knows no limits when used properly. Think of a pentagram, Donald. Now put another inside. A third, and a fourth. No pencil is sharp enough to draw as fine as you can think, and no paper large enough to hold your imagination. In fact, it is only in the mind that we can conceive infinity. Mathematical thinking has opened the doors to the exciting adventures of science. I'll be door door. I'm gonna sneak so many doors before. Each discovery leads to many others. An endless chain. What's the matter with these doors? Hey! These doors won't open. They're locked. Of course they are locked. These are the doors of the future. And the key is... Mathematics! Right. Mathematics. The boundless treasures of science are locked behind those doors. In time, they will be opened by the curious and inquiring minds of future generations. In the words of Galileo, mathematics is the alphabet with which God has written the universe.